Hello everyone and welcome back to another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In this video I have 9 teams for Kazuna Hawkins. This first team is a V1 Snake Man and versus Kaido duo. Ace really is not needed on this team because we are using Kaido on the final stage for an attack boost and you can just completely ignore the burn. If you wanted to, you could probably swap out the ship for Shark Superb, which is supposedly a higher attack boost, but you lose out on a bit of XP. It's personal preference, I guess. And this was originally a Team Kazuna, so the HP scaling really isn't that high where you need a ship, a slight ship boost. So. Yeah, the best ship here would be Shark Superb, but you can really use any good boosting ship. Now this team at first it may look a bit more complex since there's a lot of, well there's three dual units, um, some of the units are not even decks which you would want against the quick color, but the int units are fine because we're just having a bunch of boosts that we have a 3.5 times chain lock, 2.7 times, 2.75 times attack boost, 2.5 times orb boost, and a poison conditional by Reiju, who also gets rid of the block orbs. Zoro's just here because he is boosted, does quite a bit of damage. Um, we don't use this special on the final stage, though we use it on the second stage. I believe Nami support is required after a certain level, but for now, you don't need it because after a certain point, the turns of bind will increase. Yeah, this team does enough damage that it caps out. If you don't have the Nami, you could probably replace her with any health reducer unless you want to stall to get your HP low. She also functions as a chain lock. Well, I guess she also has the orb manipulation with the Chan support. So I guess she isn't as easy to replace as I thought. There is a bit of overlapping affinity boosts here, because Otama's just here to get rid of the threshold, because Croc already gets rid of the attack down. Opera support is needed on Kaikuri, who will get rid of the despair. On this team, uh, Law's crew, Beppo, and the others, they're just here to reduce paralysis, and yeah, Galette is here to fulfill the super type condition of Sweet Commanders, and as well as providing a chain boost, chain lock. I 
I did mess up the special order on the final stage. Um, I used Kid before Beppo, which caused Beppo to give the entire team unfavorable orbs, but that doesn't matter. If you manage to pull 6 plus black beard from the Kazuna Sigo Fest, or once you get enough skulls to super evolve, then you could use this team. This team does not work with 6 star black beard. At least not for the increased bind levels. Because 6 plus black beard has the addition to. Uh, reduce bind by 5 turns. The block orb uh, removal isn't really needed because you can just save kids super tight for that stage. And Blackbeard's cap is just useful because it gets past this barrier as well as the rainbow shield on Hawkins stage. This is basically just Halloween batch and free-to-play units uh, with an addition of V2 Shanks. V2 Shanks functions as an attack and chain booster. For this team, you probably want to put Support Akainu on one of the units because there actually is no orb manipulation on this team. I don't think it works with the additional mechanics either because... Um, I don't believe Buggy can resist Special Rewind, so your team will be silenced, meaning Kiku cannot reduce their cooldowns, um, which means you cannot use buggy to reduce the silence.
kid does not actually receive cooldowns from the first stage, so you do have to stall quite a bit. You could probably replace the pig with some extra special cooldown reducers. Finally, we have a slasher based team with V2 Zoro. Not the best team for damage since V2 Zoro's numbers just aren't that high. 